As someone who isn't really that fond of quests, I've often tried to find the best way to complete quests in RuneScape 3. If you're familiar with old school RuneScape, they have their quest helper plugin within RuneLite, but RuneScape 3 hasn't really had that until now. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the RS3 Quest Buddy, which is a plugin for Alt 1 to help you complete your quests. Let's take a look at it. In the past, whenever I was completing a quest on RuneScape 3, I just used the quick guide in the RS Wiki. Now, I did just have this on my second monitor, which is pretty easy to follow along. You can tick off the boxes when you do complete that step. And so it wasn't too bad, but it's definitely not the best solution for someone with just one monitor or playing on a laptop or something like that. So that's where Quest Buddy comes in play. You can find the RS3 Quest Buddy using the link in the description down below. And you can see that you can actually use it with Alt1 Toolkit, but also just in browser form, which is very similar to the wiki. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys using it with Alt1 Toolkit since it does have the overlay on screen, and I think that's where it is most advantageous. If you're just using it in the browser form, it's basically the same as the wiki. So there's a few steps that you need to complete before actually using RS3 Quest Buddy uh, on your game, just like I'm going to be using it. First, you'll need to download the Alt1 Toolkit and then the RS3 Quest Buddy and I will have the link to both of those in the description. We can see once you open your Alt1 Toolkit, the RS3 Quest Buddy will be there and it will open this brand new interface. You can see you can just type in your username. So I typed in SilenceYT, hit enter, and it actually can pull up your quest points completed, how many quests you can do or that you have left. And uh, it gets all of this from the wiki because the wiki is able to extract that information. So you can scroll through what quests you want to complete. Right now I'm going to be doing Anoctra's Lament and uh, clicking on requirements. It shows the requirements are, are green so I can do the quest. It shows how long it is, items you need, things like that. Just everything you would get from the wiki. And it's nice because it's all on one screen. You can uh, change the browser size um, and just have the overlay on the screen which is really nice. Now it's somewhat similar to the quest helper with old school runescape in that it will actually interact in with the screen a little bit, definitely not as much as uh, the quest helper in old school, but it does a little bit. So it is a little bit interactable, which is kind of nice. So uh, I'll just buy some of the items we need and we'll get started with the quest and sort of go through a walkthrough using the RS3 quest buddy. So now that we have all our items needed for the quest, I do want to show you some cool features about the quest buddy. So you can click show quest steps and it shows all the different steps you can go through. If you click these settings in the bottom left corner, you can uh, have the option to highlight the step green or remove it when it is completed. Unfortunately, it won't automatically complete the step. You will actually have to manually click the box or click the step uh, to turn it green or to remove it. So that's one feature where it's definitely a little bit of a step behind uh, Quest Helper with old school, but still it's very nice. Uh, and there's a few other settings you can fool around with, but again, I, I probably wouldn't. You can see you kind of screw up the interface that way. So uh, now that we are good with the settings, we're going to be able to start the quest. You can really just scroll through, check all the quests, which is really nice. Uh, and as you can see, just click next step to check off the uh, step that you're completed. And uh, it's pretty easy just to follow along that way. I would even say it might even be a bit simpler than the RS wiki because it is actually stepped in order. Um, whereas the wiki sort of sections off different segments of the quests, which uh, can have its pros and cons, but I kind of prefer it um, showing each step of the quest. So we're going to head to the granite and sandstone quarry southwest of the bandit camp. That is step number one. As you can see, you can just click next step, talk to Lazim, and it shows you the chat options to select. If you notice there, it actually showed a red box around the chat option that you should select. So like I said, it is interactable with your screen a little bit, um, but uh, it, it's not perfect, but it does at least see your screen and show you which option you're supposed to select. 
Um, I did notice it's not always perfect. You Sometimes you can actually select uh, a better option. I noticed that later on in the quest when I'm giving him the sandstone. Um, it told me to give him the 5 kilogram ones where I could have just given him the 10 and just saved a bit of time. So like I said, not perfect, but uh, it does work for most scenarios. Now I will just speed up the quest and sort of talk through some different things that I felt was really good about the RS3 quest buddy and some things that I think it could improve on. So one thing that I think is really nice is that interactability, you know, having it show you which option you can select or should select when you're doing the uh, chat options with the dialogue with the NPCs. I think that's very nice. Um, one thing that I think it could definitely improve on is uh, if you've ever played old school and, and used the quest helper there, it'll actually highlight uh, certain doors you need to enter, certain things you would need to interact with which is very nice. Um, whereas with uh, the quest helper in RuneScape 3 or the quest buddy, it doesn't do that. So it's not that uh, interactable. Um, so that part's a bit uh, unfortunate. You can also see that the menu, it's kind of massive on your screen. And uh, yeah, you can uh, make it smaller. You can drag it around, um, but you kind of will need to have it somewhat large at least to, to see things and for it to be formatted properly and basically just readable. So that is one downside of it I would say. Um, it would be nice maybe if it was able to be uh, transparent um, which I don't believe it is. Uh, and then again I think one massive improvement that it could have is keeping track of the steps for you. Actually this part during the quest I was really confused. I totally missed uh, a step that I was supposed to do and it took me a few minutes to figure out you know where I went wrong and how to get back on track. Uh, there was a few actually time in this quest where I forgot a certain item that I needed. I had to teleport back to the bank and go get that. So it would be nice if it was able to maybe have some more interaction with the game with the screen when you are doing those types of things but i will say that it is really nice that we do have some sort of option uh for some sort of quest helper in runescape 3 rather than just using the wiki which is a pretty good source uh, but this is definitely going to be the best option for you by far if you're playing on a laptop or only have the one monitor it's really a pain having to go to a whole new browser to check the quest steps or use your phone even. I've done that before. Um, it's just really nice to have it right there on the screen, especially for the more simple quests. Of course, you can also watch YouTube videos and guides for quests that way, which is really helpful, especially if it's a long, complicated quest or has some boss fights where you might need a little bit more guidance on. But for the straightforward quests, I think this is awesome. And this is what I'm going to be using for Group Iron Man, at least for some quests. I'll definitely have Alt 1 uh, up ready to go and be using the RS3 quest buddy when possible. So if this is something that you are interested in using, I will have the link to both the Alt 1 toolkit and the RS3 quest buddy to download. Uh, it does have a GitHub if you do want to check and see the source code and everything. That's a bit above my head, but if you are interested in that, you can do that with uh, the Quest Buddy. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all about the Quest Buddy and my experience, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.